pit stop practice. Um, some, some pit stops and races this weekend and the two longer races. We also got two shorter races. So. Two lap races with no pit stops. Two 25 lap races which both will have a pit stop. And it doesn't like rattle guns and audio. Makes it sound like it's about a carry away. Yeah, I heard ya. Don't do that. Ah, uh, do that. <laughs> On the marks. Rip seek over. Rip seek over. Still be able to get. Hit her on the bottom. Tweaker, got qualifying coming up, so that'll be an interesting one. It's a bit rapid fire, two 10 minute sessions with a 10 minute break, so that'll, uh, that'll be good fun. Right, so qualifying was finished today. Pretty disappointed. Uh, it's a bloody hard track actually to get uh, everything together. Um, such a long lap, and you make one mistake. Um, and you pay for it the whole time, so it's um, yeah, it's pretty difficult. It's def definitely a different style, especially the 10 minute qualifying, 10 minute break, 10 minute qualifying, one set of tyre kind of through each session. Um, so just try trying to piece that together. So um, hopefully we can work on it uh, for the race for Saturday and the extra qualifyings um, for Friday as well. So um, yeah, just look at some footage and some data. It's a pretty action packed day for practice and quality in the one day, which is definitely different, so we'll work on that. Formula One has just happened. The uh, garage has got to be shut for that. Um, so yeah, we've got the race coming up now, so we'll see how that goes. 25 laps, one pit stop. Um, see if we can move forward. All right, so race one is done. Um, ended up 20th, so move forward, which was good. Made a few passes and the, you know, learned a fair bit with the tire dig around here, which was pretty, um, pretty rapid so that was um, definitely different um, got two races tomorrow got the shorter and the longer race again um, sort of in the Arvo so hopefully we can uh, work on the car see where I can uh, improve on and yeah go from there so looking forward to it very sad news to hear about the New Zealand stuff so yeah good memory Pigeonhole. Got its own fan. You dog. And. Well, not exactly the way we wanted to finish this weekend. Um, it's a bit of a testing weekend, just trying to learn the track and the car, and, and still work with the engineers in the in the racing sense as well after the disappointing Adelaide. So. Fortunately, we got a bit of uh, damage to the car, and we'll, you know, we'll head back, we'll repair that, and head to Tasmania. But you know, I've got a lot to work on still, and I thought we made some really good improvements and uh, over the weekend, and, and still moving forward. So I'm excited to get racing again, and just uh, unfortunately, we got to do a bit of a rebuild again. But we'll uh, we'll be back and fighting. It's all packing up now. Everyone's running around like headless chickens.
So there was a little bit that I missed from the weekend. Um, I had a bit of a glitch with the camera, but anyway. Um, so it's kind of weird finishing race two on um, the Saturday night, really late. Like we ended up leaving the track, I think like 10 p.m. And um, <clears throat> just because the race started at 6.30. So it's kind of finishing under lights, which was kind of cool. But um, yeah, it got pretty dark there towards the end, but it was um, yeah, a bit of a twilight race. Um, all in all, it was a pretty good weekend, sort of got a lot to learn still, but, um, you know, it's just, just part of the journey and part of the, uh, the season and, and learning what I can as, as I go along. So, um, hope you like the videos, um, try and do this a bit more over the rounds, um, if I can and subscribe, like, share, do all those things. Um, and let me know if you've got any questions.